cop arrested for uploading heinous materials online. A cop. Massachusetts, Matthew Bistany, age 51, Methune police officer arrested on a child pornography charge Tuesday. Bail set at $5,000. I need to ask if that's a typo. It's not a typo. $5,000. Been put on administrative leave by the Methune Police Department, which tells me he can still pay his bills. This and he was arraigned in Lawrence District Court Tuesday afternoon. Officials say more information will be released following his arraignment. Bissany was arrested at his home by state troopers, Methune police on one count of child pornography, according to MSP spokesperson. Search warrant executed prior to Bissany's arrest. An investigation began earlier this year when the Massachusetts State Police Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force received a cyber tip line report from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children reporting the upload of child sexual assault material to a specific IP address connected to Bistany. Bistany has been placed, as we said, on administrative leave by the department, according to the police chief, Scott McNamara. Boston 25 News with some horrific details. While Officer Bistany is presumed innocent until proven guilty, the Methuen Police Department condemns the officer's conduct as alleged in the charging documents. These allegations in no way reflect upon the character and reputation of the men and women of the Methune Police Department who stand committed to protecting children and continue to serve with distinction. Let's stop there, Mayor. I don't like the statement. I don't like it. Okay, because if this was any other defendant, it wouldn't start with while they're presumed innocent and then say, uh, yeah, administratively he's charged with that. And then it would go on to say, don't look at us. He was part of the department, so I don't know why you're even putting it out there. Just give the details like you would any other defendant facing child porn charges. Am I wrong, Mayor? You're not wrong at all. And the fact that you're you're bragging about how uh, how all the other officers serve a distinction is absolutely disgusting to me. This is a PR turn on somebody's child that was being exported by an adult. Cut this out. It's not necessary. It's a, it's a ringing of the bell in a time when you shouldn't be ringing the bells. The fact that he's on administrative leave implies that he's still getting paid. Like you said, he still can pay his bills. So while while this while he's facing charges. He's not being punished at work. He's almost on vacation, administrative leave with pay. To me, does not seem like you're holding him accountable or that you condemn his actions. You're not condemning his actions in your you're actions. Not. Lots of people get arrested, I'm sure, by Matthew police. They lose their jobs, not him. Massachusetts State Police and our law enforcement partners like the Methune Police Department stand committed to protecting children who are among the most vulnerable members of society from sexual abuse, which is what child pornography is. I commend the work of our Cyber Crimes Unit and Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force and am grateful for our partnership with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. State Police Colonel John Mon with that, okay? Now remember, everyone's commending everyone, Mayor, but do you remember how they nabbed one of their own? The tip line from the unaffiliated agency said, hi, police, there's a problem with police. They're all slapping each other on the back. None of that is necessary, Mayor, that's my view. Yeah, your view is spot on. Also, I, I would say, listen, um, Colonel John Mon, I hear you. And, and like you said, another statement about about you guys are so glad and celebratory of who did what. I have a question. Were you in court to advocate that this person got a higher bond than $5,000? Did you talk to the magistrate judge and say this person shouldn't be released because they are a threat to children? the most vulnerable. And if you feel they are the most vulnerable, how do you feel about this $5,000? Nobody said anything about this magistrate making this bond this low. Had it been another situation, this person not been a law enforcement agent, a person of color, then it would have been, I am upset that this person got out on $5,000 bond, which really means you pay 10 to 15%. So this person is walking around for doing something against the most vulnerable as a child for only $500. Wow. Got to do the math sometimes. And you got to look at how 
police officers who are rarely, but sometimes it happens, accused, charged, how they get treated versus how you would be treated. Even in this kind of disgusting case, you're right. Why wasn't anybody, I remember I had to ask, is this a mistake? I know our team, they listen, they get it, okay? And they're very thorough. But I had to ask almost rhetorically, Mayor, because it's sick. Do children matter or not? Yeah, I mean, our actions as adults, the way that this person is able to walk away from this case um, and walk free right now for $500 is telling these kids, whether we say it with our mouths, it's saying that they don't matter. Not as much as this officer. No matter. You said you were disgusted and left the state with that. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.